This is Ice. Today we will continue with our foundation Chinese study, and the content is again from our foundation textbook, page two. And uh, for page two, we have already finished um, the pronouns like I, you, he, she, it, uh, the general pronouns, and uh, also the um, general. Time words like today, yesterday, morning, and now we are at the number section. So we have finished number um, zero, which is Ling, and uh, number one, which is Yi. So today, let's continue with number two, R. About number two in Chinese, uh, first of all, the pronunciation, the proper pronunciation of number two in Chinese is called R. R, which is E, R, last tone. The tone marker is on letter E. And when I talk about last tone, that means the fourth tone, which is a very harsh sound, sounds like very firm, like R, R. Okay. In daily life, when you are in a conversation, this pronunciation is just simply R. That's it. And it's slightly different from English, which is letter E in Chinese. We only pronounce it as a kind of a uh sound, like a uh air from your, you know, belly, chest, all the way up, not bumping on anything. Uh, okay. So letter E in Chinese will never be read as uh, E or as A sound. No, no, no. Only a uh sound. That's why number two is pronounced as R, R, okay? All right, about number two, R. There are a couple of little things we want to share today. First of all, about number two, other than in the official occasion, for example, uh, when you share your phone numbers, the street numbers, in the formal case, or use it as a kind of neutral digits um, case, we read it as uh, R, but number two, R, also has another pronunciation, which is pronounced as Liang. Liang is L-I-A-N-G, third tone. Liang. Liang in Chinese also means two. The, there are a couple of differences between R and Liang, but the biggest difference between R and Liang is uh, um, R usually is used as the neutral um, digit. So um, when you count one, two, three, we usually use R, like E R San. But uh, in daily life, actually we hear the pronunciation Liang as two a lot. Because in daily life, when we want to count things, objects, goods, we usually use the pronunciation liang as two. That's why you hear it everywhere in the streets. Like when you go buy some fruits, when you buy, let's say, two apples, we say liang ge ping guo. And uh, if you are going to the restaurant, the waitress at the gate usually ask you how many of you. If you have two to go, you can say liang wei. And uh, similar ideas of two books, two pens, two cell phones. We just use liang as two. All right, that's pretty much the most important tip about number two today. So liang wei, liang wei, liang wei. Okay, now we share something very, very funny about number two in Chinese. Um, you see, in English we have quite a few words to talk about someone who's a little bit goofy, dummy, nerd, um, like, like me, forgetful, careless sometimes, okay? So in Chinese, we sometimes use number two, R, as an adjective to talk about someone who's a little bit careless, dummy, or some behavior is a little bit nerdy. So simply, you can use it like 我今天很 R. I'm so dumb today. 
for example, you forgot your keys or you forgot some appointment, something like that. All right. So, 我今天很二。我今天很二。我今天很二。I'm so dumb today. And now let's introduce some combination words of number two. Um, the first word we want to talk about is called uh, uh, D R, D, D I, last tone. D usually is used in front of a number to talk about the the order of something. For example, if you want to talk about the first, the second, the third, you can just simply put the D in front of the number. For example, the first is D E, the second is D R. And the third is the third, and you can continue the four, the five, the six. So that's the first, the second, the blah. All right. But of course, in Chinese, the doesn't mean the for sure. Okay, it's just the way how we express it. And the second word about two is uh, 二手<laughs>手 basically means hands. So 二手 literally means Second hand, like English, second hand goods. So in Chinese, we simply call it "er shou." You know, in China right now, there are tons of applications to help people to sell、uh, second hand goods, like "er shou chou" second hand car, or "er shou shu" second hand books, or "um er shou shou ji" second hand cell phones. Of course, for foreigner, if you are living in China, you have a lot of WeChat groups to、uh, to buy or sell secondhand goods. But to general Chinese, actually, we use an application called Xian Yu, Xian X I A N Yu Y U. Yu actually means fish. <laughs> so the logo of Xian Yu basically is a yellow logo with a little fish on top. I show you later. Xian Yu right now is a very popular secondhand applications that Chinese love to use, and it belongs to Alibaba Group, which you all know Taobao already, right? So belong to the same company. So, 二手手机 secondhand cell phones. 二手手机 secondhand cell phones. 二手手机 secondhand cell phones. Um, all right. After the introduction of the、uh, words of number two. R.、Um, let's continue to talk about some slangs and idioms that has number two R in it.、Um, if you have watched the number one already, then you must know the word called 一心一意。一心一意 in Chinese means full-hearted, concentrated, focus on one thing. Like when you are preparing for a very Important exam, then you must want to be 一心一意 So since we have 一心一意 which is fully concentrated on one thing, of course we can put one mind at two different things. Which the words in Chinese are first of all, 三心 heart, 二 to 意三心二意 basically. Means you put your minds on two things here, three things there. That's it. So not concentrated. And another word is called 一心二用用 means to use. 一心二用 in Chinese basically means you put your mind on two things, kind of multitask. But in English, sometimes when you talk about multitask, it could be. Um, positive sounds like you are very、uh, skillful, but in Chinese, no matter it's 三心二意 or 一心二用 both are talking about cannot be full-hearted on something. So it's a little bit negative. Okay, so 三心二意三心二意三心二意 Not concentrated. Um. All right. The second word on、um, in daily life, when you talk about someone, you give comments, right? So if you think someone is very trustworthy, or if you think someone who can always keep their words, 
if they guaranteed something, they will for sure make it happen. Then we use the phrase 说一是一,说二是二. Uh, 说 in Chinese means to speak, to say. 一 means one, and uh, 是 means is. So 说一是一 basically means uh, if he says it's one, it's for sure one. And if he says it's two, then for sure it's two. Basically, it's kind of saying um, he never lies. He keeps his words all the time. So, 他说一是一说二是二. So you can trust his words. All right, that's pretty much everything we want to share about number two today. And if you have any questions, feel free to write a comment down there and I'll try to reply ASAP. All right, that's for today. Thank you. Bye-bye.